So you're probably wondering what a false grip actually is. Well, let's go ahead and chat about it. So it's basically, in my opinion, probably the most important thing that you can do to help get your muscle up. So this is talking about a strict muscle up and you can do this on the rings or you can do it on the bar. The rings requires a little bit more technique and stability where the bar requires a little bit more strength. But either way, the false grip is essential. So basically it is using, instead of holding the ring or bar in this position here in the palm of your hand, you're holding it, you're grabbing at the top, coming down, and now your wrist crease is holding the ring or bar. So with a bar here, it's basically instead of here, it's going on top of it. So you can even practice holding like a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball or something like that in your hand and actually holding the bar in this position here. So your hand isn't actually going on top of the bar. The reason why this is important is because as you pull up and as you transition, then you can go on top of the bar versus coming here and then having to shift over top. You can do it that way, but it requires a lot more power to get up all the way. And then with the rings, really you have to use the false grip. So starting on the rings, grabbing at the top and you can come all the way down here. And so you're still holding on to the ring in your hand. And so it's gonna be here in this position. So you're starting out and then you pull in, coming up, and then you're starting to get out of that false grip as you transition on top and you have that normal grip there. And that's how you don't have to re-grip your hands in that muscle up and that's why it's super important. Yes, it requires a lot more technique and yes, probably your wrists are gonna be a little bit sore when you do first learn this because you're not used to putting pressure there but that will get better with time and it will make it a lot easier once you get over the learning curve of the false grip. So you can start with like false grip pull-ups, false grip Australian rows, dead hangs, things like that just to get used to it and slowly introduce your wrist to that load because, and you might even have some like bruising and things like that. I'll go ahead and link a video where Steve and I discuss kind of what is happening there and why it might be not the most comfortable, but it gets better with time, trust me. Um, I probably, I would say, when I was first learning a muscle up, it maybe took a couple weeks to maybe a month to get a little bit more comfortable. And then I was able to start really progressing a little bit more. So again, here coming down. So you're starting here, wrist crease is on. So my fingers aren't really doing a whole lot. Um, we're just kind of stabilizing the ring. So maintaining it where we want it to be. And then you're pulling up here, still maintaining that false grip. And as you rotate around in that transition, that's where we start to come out of that false grip position. And then we do a, just a strict dip from there. So on the bar here, so basically I'll kind of pull up and then get on top of it here. And then you're going to pull up here. It's gonna be harder pull up. So you do wanna practice those and then getting on top of the bar there. And then you can kind of dip from there and reversing it on the way down can help you practice it as well and get back into that false grip position. It does require a lot more wrist strength because it basically is a high demand on your muscles when they're not as efficient because they're shortened. So again, keep that in mind, you might have some really good grip strength, but this still might be a little bit of a challenge for you. And then as you're learning, you can always use some tennis balls or lacrosse balls, basically coming here, grabbing the ball over top here. And you're basically, you have a little bit of a bone in your hand right here and the bar is going right under that. You don't want the bar to be on top of it because it can be a little bit tender there because you have some nerves that run right under there. So wrist crease, not the bottom of the palm. So here, grabbing the ball there and then you can start here to get comfortable with it. You can start with some squat assisted shrugs, some squat assisted pull-ups, some Australian rows here, probably a little bit lower with the rings for those. Um, and then you can progress as those get easier to some pull-ups here. And then you can start ditching these and starting again, top circling down here. And then you can start with that hang. So now we're gripping the bar or the rings and you're gonna go some scap depressions and you can do that same progression again, making sure you're maintaining that false grip position and not kind of sliding out 
And you might need to stop and regroup periodically as you're learning too. And I would also say that having some chalk actually down in that wrist crease can help make it a little bit easier as you are learning it as well. But I know I just showed a ton of these on the rings, but the same principles do apply to the bar. This was definitely a game changer for me when I was learning. I was definitely trying to swing, trying to muscle it up, and it just wasn't working for me. And then when I started learning and implementing the false grip, I was slowly able to progress with my muscle up and eventually get my, I got my ring muscle up first. And then eventually I was able to get my bar muscle up. But again, the ring muscle up takes more technique. And basically you can kind of pass right under. So with the bar, you have to kind of come behind to get over top of it. And that's what makes it a little bit more challenging as well. So depending on your strength, if you're a little bit stronger with a little bit less technique, you might find the bar muscle up a little bit easier. Or if you are not quite as strong, but you're able to master the technique pretty darn well, then you can definitely get your ring muscle up first. So depending on your goals, you can do either one first and then just work towards the other one if you would like. But if you do want some help progressing toward your first muscle up, I do have an entire muscle up program for you. I'll go ahead and link that below and feel free to let me know if you have any questions at all for me and I'm happy to help.